All right, so just to confirm, what time were you into work this morning at? Just trying to put together a plan uh, of uh, the route here, of how this happened today. Okay, so you're in at eight, you're in at 10, so two hours after. Okay, right, and how many customers did you have this morning? Just an estimate, uh, if possible. Uh, around 20. Okay, so, yeah, around 20. All right, so it was relatively quiet. Yeah, from what we kind of found out, they had almost a planned operation um, for a couple of weeks in advance almost, um, in which they attempted to then rob the store and get away cleanly. All right, uh, if I can just uh, get both of you guys to sign here at the bottom of the document here, I'm just going to grab your name and uh, contact information uh, just so we can have that uh, for future reference. Um, but yeah, give us maybe five, ten more minutes and then, then you should be free. It's going to take us a while to clear up this scene here. So I do apologize business wise. That's not exactly ideal for you. As I know, you know, small family owned, uh, jewelry store. Not great if you have officers swarming here in the daytime, but we will try and get this cleaned up as quickly as possible, right? Uh, for the moment, if you wouldn't mind waiting over there by the police car, just duck under the tape and uh, wait over there. I'll be with you guys soon. Hello, sir. Can I uh, help you? Can I help you with anything? You here for business or you just uh, curious on what's going on? All right. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, unfortunate scenes here today. So just need you to stand back. If that's all right, you can go and talk to them uh, for the moment. Yeah. The coroners should be here in the next couple of minutes to collect the body there. Um, anyways... So we're basically now just polishing up everything we've got here. We have the uh, DNA. They don't have CCTV, which is unfortunate. We do on the street, but we've got nothing inside the store, which is ideally what we need. Um, and I'm, I'm quite surprised an establishment like a jewelry store doesn't have CCTV. But then again, maybe they can't afford it. Who knows? Who knows? Many, many, uh, many theories behind it. But yeah, we're just uh, getting everything we can here. DNA, fingerprints. So yeah, detectives just clearing the scene. RCPD finishing up helping there. Um, but yeah, we have got most of uh, what we need. And just in time, county coroner's here. Lovely. Show them over here and they can uh, collect the body and bring that down to the morgue downtown. That's the body being collected there. One thing I did find strange is there is the back door here. Now it is unlocked. We're going to just open this up here. And there's a perfect area around back. We haven't interviewed the uh, suspects yet. They're now in custody down at the uh, police station. But what kind of uh, got me a bit confused was they had almost an argument uh, as they were about to go around the back. And they then decided to not go around our back and tried to fight their way out the front, which resulted in them being uh, arrested. Whereas they could have an easy exit around back. We didn't even know this store existed until uh, police came in. So it's something they've added recently. Um, they knew it was there, obviously, but, you know, they, they didn't try and escape around back, which kind of confused us all, really. And I'm still trying to figure out why. Now, we haven't interviewed them yet. Uh, we will be um, interviewing them very shortly. Um, and then hopefully we can get some answers about that and may sort of add up soon, but yeah, it's just confusing. Hey, could you come around to the side? Yeah, come around to the side. I'll talk to you guys over here since that's technically an operational road. Uh, just need a couple last things from you guys and then um, you, well, I, I guess you're free to go. But yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to give you back the store uh, for the rest of today. So I'm just going to grab a uh, last few bits of evidence or information, sorry, from you two and then... I'd advise you head home. We'll keep your store safe. You should uh, be all clear tomorrow, fingers crossed, to uh, reopen for business. We'll try and get things processed as quickly as possible since we know, you know, this this is your job, this is your business. So um, we'll do the best we can, but unfortunately won't be able to open today. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, your cars, good question. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go and check with one of the detectives real quick, but I think you should be able to uh, take your cars home. That's fine. Detective, they good to take their cars? I don't think there was anything on the vehicles, so they good to take them home since the uh, the two owners, I guess they're joint owners, co-owners, they both want to head home, so uh, they're planning on taking their vehicles. Is that uh, right? Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, yep, you guys are able to take your vehicles. Just if you can follow me over there and uh, we'll move the police tape uh, for you as well there. There you go. Just follow me down there. Yeah, these both of your vehicles. All right, one moment. Uh, looks like evidence vans here. All right, one moment, one moment. Let's go and remove the t police tape here just so uh, they can move their vehicles out. Safe journey, safe journey there. And the other vehicle's heading off as well. 
All right, lovely. Okay, uh, let's pop the police tape back on and uh, we can get the evidence loaded up, which means our job here is done. A nice deserved lunch break, I'd say, for, with a what a chaotic morning's been. All right, hey, uh, you here to collect the evidence from the scene, right? We'll just go ahead and box it all up and get it ready. All right, perfect. One moment, please, one moment. Hey, uh, we good to box everything up? Uh, since the evidence van's here, we don't want to hold them too long, so we got everything... Yeah, okay, perfect. Let's just get the last things boxed up and then we'll be ready to put that all in and transport over. Another busy day in River City. Well, that's the, that's the hustle. That's the hustle. All right, I've got a box here. We're just going to bring that out there. I think we've got two more inside. Uh, and then we're good. Then we're good. The rest is all digital as the world is now. So load that up there. These will be crucial for the court case later. I'm not dealing with that, luckily, since I know that's going to be such a hassle. And then that's another case wrapped up and stored away, hopefully. Paper in a file somewhere in our police station basement. Ah, uh, you're the lucky officer taking these to court. Lovely. There we go. We've got a, uh, a box for you there. Should be all signed and marked up. Uh, thank you very much for your help. I think I visited this store a while back. Don't think I bought anything, but it's sad to see... With its recent renovations as well, I believe that was earlier this year. Sad to see the status in now. Smash glass, uh, which we've now cleaned up luckily, but yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. There you go, last box. Perfect. Okay, all the boxes there, and I think we're good here. Right, evidence fans just gonna head off, and uh, then the scene's all cleared up. I will see you guys back at the station later today, unless you've got uh, other assignments. I'll most likely be heading to my lunch break now, so... Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you later. Uh, great work this morning. Great work this morning, all of you as well. Uh, they're just grabbing some papers and then uh, officers will lock this up. All right, well, uh, see you later. See you later. We all good outside? We've got uh, officers drawing their weapons here. Uh, what's going on at the end of the road? Oh, gun. Gun, gun, gun. Yep, that is a gun indeed. Okay, vehicle parked directly in front of the evidence vehicle, it looks like. What is going on up there? That's, uh, that's something new we've seen. On the ground! On the ground! Get on the ground! Drop the weapons! They've got the driver out of the vehicle, haven't they? Yeah, driver's uh, now parked in the road. Alright, uh, let's get back up uh, radioed in. This was obviously coordinated. They knew the time of it arriving and leaving, so... Yeah, this is definitely some coordinated uh, plan here. Right, uh, we should have other officers arriving soon. They can surround on the road there, hopefully preventing them from driving off. Lovely. All right, backup has arrived. They've realized that and looks like they're going to try and make an escape. Now, we do have units uh, on this side of the road. I'm not sure about the county side, but I'm hoping so. Where are they moving? They're moving to the city, aren't they? No. Oh, let's box them in. Let's box them in. All right, let's run back, get my explorer. Where are they? No, they've gone. They're gone. All right, and yeah, vehicle was spiked. No surprises there. They didn't get far. Let's pull in behind these uh, march units here. Hop out there. Right. Uh, ah, they've oh, they've still got the evidence driver hostage. Oh my. I thought they were left at the van there. Uh, right, yeah, they've got them hostage. Drop your weapons. Look. You don't want to overcomplicate this for yourself. So just drop the weapons. They're already being pit maneuvered, so they don't. Their vehicle's now disabled. I'm not going to get far on foot either, since the dense woods are going to easily lost in. So I, I'm pretty sure they know they have no options. Just trying to make this out here with a deal or something like that with a hostage. This would be so much easier if you just put down your weapons and came forwards and surrendered. So much easier. For both you and us. Weapons on the ground. Weapons on the ground. Easy as that. Easy as that. They're walking forwards. Okay, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Come forwards nice and slowly. Keep going. Keep walking. Keep walking. Right. Hey, hey. I need you. If you want to surrender, you need to put your weapons on the ground. You need to drop your weapons. Put those weapons on the ground and then come forwards with your hands in the air. That's the only way this deal is going to work for both sides. Alright, nice job, nice job. Put that on the ground. Right, continue to walk. There we go, there we go. Nice job, I need you all to do this. Alright, get, get the hostage to the right, get the hostage to the right. Kneel, alright, stop there, stop there, stop there. Kneel on the ground. Get on the ground, kneel on the ground. Put your hands over your head and talk your fingers. Nice job. Alright, let's go grab them. And we've got uh, the driver of the vehicle, haven't we? 
Nice job. All right, uh, I'm gonna go and round back, check on the vehicle. Oh, news are here. They are early for a scene like this. Usually they'd be way later. Faster vehicles, yeah, faster vans. That's what. Uh, that's how they've improved their response time. So it looked like they were trying to get into the back and supposedly steal the evidence from this case, which leads me to believe they were linked to the criminals we took in earlier somehow. Um, luckily, they didn't grab anything or damage any of the evidence, which would have been detrimental to this case. So my time here at RCPD, I've never seen someone attempt to break into an evidence van. We've had uh, evidence destroyed before, but never an evidence van. That's new. All right, let's go and uh, grab these guys, round them up. And that's three more in custody today, all before lunch. Wow, what a morning. What a morning, I tell you.